what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and in this video i did want to do like an updated type of guide here on elden ring for all the bell bearing hunters it's honestly been a minute since i have been on this game but i'm not gonna lie though after jumping back onto it i'm already sucked right back in like elden ring is honestly incredible now in the old guide that i did make for all the bell bearing hunters i actually did the war master shack in like a separate video Funnily enough, this is probably the first Bell Bearing Hunter most players are probably going to encounter, and you guys will find this one over here at the War Master Shack here in Limgrave. Again, I do feel like most players are probably going to find this one before the others, but in that old guide though, I basically explain how you had to sit down at the Site of Grace, head over to like the Merchant, and then go back to the Site of Grace to get the Bell Bearing Hunter to spawn. It turns out you don't actually have to do that, all you actually have to do is basically turn this thing to nighttime, stand up, sit back down, and then you guys will then see the bell bearing hunter spawn in that one location. So it's definitely going to save you a lot of time not going back and forth like talking to the merchant. At least that was going to be an unneeded step back in the day because I didn't think the merchant was going to go away. But I also mentioned this later on in the video, guys, with the Church of Vows location as well. If it is your first time going to that location, I would talk to the merchant at least one time when you first get there then you should be good to go now if you guys were wondering what is the biggest tip i can give you when fighting the bell bearing hunters that's going to be to stay as close to the bell bearing hunter as you possibly can because i noticed the farther you get they start doing this insanely annoying like ranged attack and i feel like even at any of the locations specifically in the one in kaled it's probably going to decimate you so i would recommend being careful with that and just in case you guys might have been wondering, by the way, I will have all the locations for each Bell Bearing Hunter timestamped as well if you are looking for a specific location. But nonetheless, though, all you will have to do to spawn in the Bell Bearing Hunter is simply sit at the site of Grace. You guys will then want to turn this to Nightfall. And there's a few things I did want to point out as well. One of them is also kind of hilarious. So by the way, you guys will notice the merchant that's standing in there. In my old guide, I mentioned you had to talk to him. Luckily you don't actually have to, so for this all you will have to do is sit back down and you will then be able to go in there and the bell bearing hunter will spawn. This is by far going to be the easiest way to do this, that way you don't actually have to go back and forth and talk to the merchant like I mentioned in my older guide. And not only that though, it's also going to be like a guaranteed spawn of the boss if you do happen to die a few times. Bell bearing hunter location number two is going to be over here in Kaled. Now this is technically location number two, but I also feel like a lot of players are probably not going to want to fight this guy, at least when they're lower leveled. He is by far the hardest bell bearing hunter to fight in the game, like even compared to the ones in the Altus Plateau. It's honestly kind of insane. I feel like he's stronger than most of the end game bosses in Elden Ring, but the fastest way I found to get to the isolated merchant shack is probably going to be from heading here from the Fort Ferris site of Grace. I do feel like this is going to be the fastest way there. And also guys, big tip as well, there's going to be those really weird looking like T-Rex looking like wolf kind of animal thingies that really need to eat to be honest, but they're going to be in this area as well, basically on this hill over here. So if you guys are having issues fighting the bell bearing hunter, and if you do go down the hill just a little bit, they're definitely going to try to attack you. And those guys are kind of overpowered. Even in new game plus one, they seem to hit like trucks. So do be a little careful with that. And also guys, one big tip with these guys as well, similar to what I was explaining with the War Master Shack, definitely stay as close to him as you possibly can because if you get farther away, the ranged attacks by the Bell Bearing Hunter are going to honestly be insane, especially in Kaled. For some odd reason, this boss has an insane amount of damage, so I really don't think it matters what level you are. I think he can still 3-4 to four shot you, but regardless guys, again, definitely stay as close to him as you can, and here's the boss fight.
and bell bearing hunter location number three can be found over here at the church of vows this is probably going to be a location many players are going to be pretty familiar with because this place is going to have that big friendly turtle that sits in there that you can get like sorceries and stuff from but just in case you guys might have been wondering what is the easiest way to get here so for this i would recommend heading over to the academy gate town site of grace Almost going northeast after that until you guys get to the lakeshore site of Grace here. And then once you guys arrive at this site of Grace, all you would then have to do is basically follow this path all the way along here up until you reach the Church of Vows located on top of like this cliff area. Now one thing I do want to point out though is if you guys have never come over here and or like you've never been in this area, you will have to talk to the turtle at least one time in order to get the bell bearing hunter to spawn, but after that it's going to be very easy and you can then fight the bell bearing hunter. And then Bell Bearing Hunter location number 4 is going to be found at the Hermit Merchant Shack. This is going to be located in the Altus Plateau, so it's going to be a little bit farther into the game. But what's kind of funny though, is this one's not going to be as difficult as the one in Kalid. But nonetheless though, the easiest way to get to this location is going to be from the Outer Wall Battleground site of Grace. You guys can then spawn here and go this way up the staircase and then go left. There's also going to be enemies in this area, but luckily you don't have to worry about them. And then all you will have to do is go left once again up until you reach the site of grace right here. And this is also where you're going to find the bell bearing hunter. Now similar to the other ones, all you will then have to do is turn the site of grace to dark, sit at it once again afterwards, and you can then fight the bell bearing hunter. And then location number 5 for the bell bearing hunter is going to be located over here at the shaded castle. I did notice getting here can be kind of interesting but the fastest way I found is to basically spawn over here by the Erd tree gazing hill site of grace. And then follow this all the way up and you guys will then want to hook a left and go this way. All you will then have to do is jump on top of the platform using torrent and then you guys are welcome to explore the shaded castle if you would like to. But I'm now going to show you guys a sped up version all the way up until this site of grace just in case you don't feel like dealing with all the enemies.
And now I will show you guys the fastest way to the boss fight from the Shaded Castle Inner Gate Site of Grace. I do want to mention, by the way, this is basically the same bell bearing hunter you guys have defeated four times prior. But defeating him in this location, though, is going to get you the Executioner's Sword and the Great Shield.